Hi, David from Classic Automotive. And today I'm here to show you what comes in our Honda Element 24F battery tray conversion kit. Hope you enjoy. So I've had a few people ask, well, why should I switch to a 24F battery? What's the difference? Well, this is a stock element battery, a 51R. And this is a 24F battery. This is a Honda Genuine battery. This is an interstate battery, great battery. However, it is undersized, not just in physical size, but in cranking amperage. This is a 500 amp uh, battery. This one is 630. I think it actually goes up to 725. The cranking amperage and amperage in general is much higher on a 24F battery. Far more capable of supporting uh, add-ons to your elements such as aftermarket lighting or interior mods, amplifiers for subwoofers, etc., etc. Some have asked, why would you not simply bend the tabs down on the old battery tray and just stick the larger battery into the engine compartment? And here's the reason why we came out with this battery tray. You need a way to retain the battery. When you bend those arms down, you no longer have a way to hold the battery down. There are cheaper options than this on the market that are plastic. However, these J-hooks still have to go into the tray to hold the battery down and plastic becomes brittle over time once it's heat cycled. That's why we came out with this stainless steel version. You don't have to worry about rust or corrosion or heat fatigue. We're just providing options for the community. So this is just a quick overview of what comes in the kit when you order a Honda Element 24F battery tray conversion kit from Classic Automotive. You have the tray itself. Stainless steel, cantilever design, pull down uh, holes made into it, ready to go there. You get the actual hold down itself. That's also stainless steel, quarter inch. It's not gonna bend, not gonna rust. Neither of those, both stainless steel. We've got a hardware set here. It's eight inch J hooks. Uh, and in here you've got the washers and the toppers. There are wing nuts in here, but we also provide stop nuts or nylocks, whichever you wanna call them in this pack. So we have two installation options. Uh, as you see here, you've got the four holes, they're slotted, so you've got some room to wiggle here. Also allows us to fit into some other vehicles. We'll hopefully figure that out as we go, what all we will work in. You can use self-tapping screws, such as these four here. That is not our preferred method, but you can do this. If you are ever planning on going off-road with your element, I would not use these at all. So we'll set those aside. If you choose those, we can include them in the kit, though. What we prefer is actually in this bag here. So let's uh, sift through what we've got here. And in this bag, we've got our two nylocks here, just so that you can see those quarter 20 uh, nylock stainless nuts for the J-hooks. But then we have what are called riv nuts. Right? And if you're unfamiliar with how riv nut work, this is how it works. You can either use a riv nut tool or, let me unscrew this so you can see it, this is a rib nut that's been compressed, all right? So uncompressed and compressed. And basically what you do is you take the rib nut, drill the appropriate size hole, which I think for this M6 rib nut is probably gonna be a 2364. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's probably what size that drill bit's gonna be. I think that's what we used for these. You drill the hole, stick the rib nut in, either use a rib nut tool, or you can use uh, a nut and bolt uh, type of installation. You can find videos on YouTube of how to do rib nuts. All right, but basically, once the rib nut is compressed like this, then you would take uh, the supplied bolts, which this is a flange bolt, and these are four of them right here. They are straight from Honda. There you go, straight from Honda, high quality bolts in the packet right there, brand new. You get four of those, so basically you take, you take the bolt, go through just like that, and on the other side, your rib nut will be installed into your frame. We'll show this on our install video, but that's how that works. So you get four rib nuts, four flange bolts, two nylock, quarter 20s for the J-hooks. Those are eight inch J-hooks and stainless as well, and some washers 
and toppers. But yeah, that's what comes in the kit for a Honda Element 24F battery tray conversion kit. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.